Hello everybody, today I'm going to demonstrate how to use the brand new Planetax stencils which can be found inside the Morfolio Trace app. Now for those of you who follow me on YouTube or Instagram, you know that my Planetax drawings have a very distinct and similar style. And that's because everything that I draw, I draw digitally by hand using the Apple Pencil on my iPad Pro and using the Morfolio Trace app. Now the stencils are a new tool that have really changed the way that I do the drawings and also they're going to allow you to replicate your own drawings in a similar style to mine. So let's get started and have a look. I'm going to walk you through step by step how to use the stencils. This is going to be our sample floor plan. It's the main floor of a 1500 square foot or 139 square meter three level townhouse in Toronto and we're going to work on some design ideas for the kitchen, the living room, and the dining room using the stencils. Now the first thing we have to do is set the scale of the drawing. So I've uploaded a PDF into the Morfolio Trace app. This little button here with the two lines and the arrow is actually the scale button, so I'm going to touch it and then up comes this line crop mark and what you do is you align the crosses onto two walls or an element within the plan where you know what the scale is. And I'm going to just show you how I know what the scale is. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. You can have a little bit of a closer look here at the drawing. You can see it says great room, 15 foot 2 by 11 foot 2. So I know that this distance is 15 foot 2. So I put my crosses on that distance and I'm going to go up into the entry area. I'm going to enter 15 feet and two inches. Now you also have the option of doing it in metric. You can decide if you do imperial or metric. I'm doing it in imperial. I'm going to hit the check mark and it says scale registered Yahoo. So now our drawing is to scale. So I can take the magic ruler and I can pull it up and I'm just going to double check the size because sometimes it might be a little bit off but 15 foot 2 in this direction is correct and 11 foot 2 in the other direction is correct. So the magic ruler has confirmed that the drawing is now to scale. So we're ready to proceed with the design portion for the kitchen and the living room furniture. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of the kitchen. <laughs> I just did a white out erase over top of it and I'm going to add a new layer. And it's interesting because I like to draw the kitchen the fixtures in the bathroom, the closets, anything that is fixed, I like to draw in one layer, and then anything that is movable, like furniture, I like to draw in a second layer. So I've added this new layer, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by looking at the stencil. So the stencil icon is the one on the far right here with the tree. You touch that, and the Planetax stencil comes right up, but if you touch the cog mark next to it, you can see the full stencil library and you can see there is one for Planetac and these thumbnails show all the Planetac stencils. There's 16 different stencils that you can use. There's also stencils by a whole bunch of other people including my good friend David Drazzle and other creators. Morfolio has been great about allowing creators to input stencils into their library and I'm very fortunate to be one of the creators that is inside the Morfolio Trace library. So I'm going to start out with the kitchen. So I've already touched that. So we're going to have a look at this kitchen stencil. Now we have to get it to the right scale. And it's interesting because there is a crop mark on all the stencils that says 3 feet or 910 millimeters. And that's how you set the scale of the stencil. So we're going to do that first. And this is so easy. What you do is you take the magic ruler. I'm just going to zoom in. And you draw a line on the page that is 3 feet long because that is... The crop mark size and I'm just going to get it as accurate as I can, get rid of the ruler, pull back the stencil and this is the magic part. You just align the crop marks on the stencil with your three foot line that you drew on the page and then with a big fat pen you just trace over <laughs> the stencil and the kitchen transfers right onto the page onto the layer that you're working on. And the amazing thing is is that it's perfectly to scale. And we can test it by checking it with the magic ruler because we can tell that a kitchen counter width is 200 or is 2 feet or 600 millimeters and it's exactly 2 feet so it's perfectly to scale. So now we can start to have some fun with placing the kitchen and I'm going to use the lasso tool which is this arrow with the dotted circle in it. I'm going to circle the entire kitchen and I'm going to move it onto the plan where the kitchen was and in this plan we want to try to have an island and a back counter so of course this is the wrong way, but never fear, we can circle the entire thing and I can use this arrow up, arrow down button to actually transfer and flip the kitchen. And 
Interestingly enough, I don't like this gap, so I'm just going to move the island a little closer to the wall, and look at that. Let's just measure the distance between the back counter and the island. It's just a little bit under four feet. I want it to be exactly four feet, so I'm just going to pull this down a little bit, and let's measure it again, and look at how excellent that is, exactly four feet. So that is perfect. So we've got our basic layout for the kitchen. Now, of course, you can experiment with this and change it and draw it all you want, but I'm also gonna pull up some of the other appliances. So let's look now for a cooktop. I've got two different sizes of cooktops. I'm gonna take the bigger one. Again, snapping it to scale, making sure you align the three foot line with the line on the stencil. Just transfer over the cooktop. Then I'm just gonna move the cooktop onto the plan. And now I'm gonna do a fridge. And I can choose between two types of fridges. I can have a swing door or a French door. I'm gonna choose the French door fridge because less of a door swing. So I'm gonna now transfer that over as well. Now we're gonna have some fun placing these. So obviously I think the fridge needs to go in the back corner. So I'm gonna move, oops, I'm gonna move the counter out of the way just to give a bit more room. And that will allow me to slide the fridge in here. Look at this, it just fits perfectly like that. Excellent. The fridge can go there. Oops, maybe it's a little close to the wall. Just move it out a little bit, perfect. Now I can slide the counter in. It's all perfectly to scale, so we know that this is accurate in terms of the real world. I'm going to just trim off the end of the, uh, the counter that I don't need, so I'm just going to erase this, use the lasso tool to just delete it, and I can also fill in the end of the counter and make sure that the line basically matches. So there, I've got my kitchen design. One last thing for the kitchen, I'm just going to move the cooktop up and in. The lasso tool is amazing, I've centered it. There, my kitchen design is done. So that's layer one. I've had some fun with the kitchen. And now I'm gonna add layer two, which is gonna be the furniture. So you'll notice I did layer one in red, and this is my typical drawing style. I do anything that is fixed or not movable in red. Anything that is movable, I do on a separate layer in yellow, like the furniture. So I'm just gonna put on the next layer and I'm just going to bring the opacity up a little bit so that I know what I'm working on. And now we can have some fun with some furniture. So let's go back to the um, stencils. Let's open the crop and look at all the furniture options. Let's start with some sofas. I'm going to start with a sofa. I would like a big sectional. I've just decided I want a really big sectional sofa. So I'm going to align the crop marks again. And if you're having problems like me, you can zoom in a little bit. It's a little bit easier to see. And then I'm just going to transfer over again. I'm going to try the big sectional because I like a big sectional. And this is the fun part, because you can try all different types of furniture and you can move stuff around. I'm on a different layer, so I don't have to worry about anything crashing on top of anything else. I'm gonna try a dining table. So maybe I will try, let's try a big dining table. I think I'm gonna try a dining table for a big family. Let's try that. And I'm gonna move this off. And the reason I'm moving it off is because then I can just bring up the other stencils and they always align to the crop mark where I left it off. I'm also going to try a bar stool, maybe a round table. Let's try a round and a rectangular table. We'll try both. This is the great thing about this is you can actually experiment with different types. And let's see what else should we bring up for the furniture. Let's try a chair <laughs> and a lamp bring up those and should we try anything else maybe I should try let me just look here how about a coffee table I'll bring up a coffee table great so I've got a whole bunch of different furniture things that I can experiment with so now what I like to do is I actually just like to use the lasso tool again and I just kind of move it off the plan because I like just having a look at the plan you know just with all the furniture kind of off and I think I can start with the obvious thing. Let's start with the bar stool. I can bring it up. <laughs> and this is really pretty easy because I can flip it. I can move it up, put it in place. And look, I've got room for two. So I'm going to use these two boxes to duplicate and slide it over. And now I've got, excellent, I have two bar stools. That looks really good. Now I can try the living room furniture. And I am going to experiment with the sectional sofa and the placement so I can bring it down. Now that obviously doesn't make sense. So I can use the rotate little dot and I can rotate and snap it into place. That actually looks pretty good to have it kind of facing towards the fireplace. And you can also sit and look out towards the view. Maybe I put my nice chair with the ottoman in the corner so that you could kind of sit looking out. That'd be a great place to read a book. 
and the coffee table can go in the center. Oops. And the great thing is if you drag it like I did and make a mistake, you can undo it and go back. So I'll just move the coffee table in. Oh, the coffee table feels a bit big. Maybe I should just shrink it using the scale corner. That's such a great thing. So I've got that sized. And where am I going to put the lamp? Well, I think if I'm going to read, I think I'm going to have to flip this lamp the other way, drag it over, and it'll have to be something like that in the corner. That looks really good. Last thing I'm going to try is the dining table. I could have a round dining table, and maybe I like it a little bit a little bit rotated. That looks actually fairly good. Quite a bit of room here, actually. Let's try the rectangular table and see if that works. And again, lasso tool, rotate. We know it's going to fit to scale. Oh my goodness, that's almost perfect. Look at that. The table fits almost perfectly. We could even slide it a little bit closer just to have a really good circulation. Wow, that looks really good. I'm going to finish my drawing off by bringing up the opacity. And look at this. I have created a complete floor plan using the standard plan attack stencils for the kitchen. There's also ones for the bathroom, which we didn't get into, and the furniture. And I had options for different tables to try. So this is what you can do with the plan attack stencils inside the Morfolio Trace app. And I think this is pretty amazing. And I just want to show you guys a couple things here because you can download the Morfolio Trace app at MorfolioApps.com. You can even try it for free for a little bit. For plan attack, if you want to learn more about plan attack and try my online courses, or order any of the workbooks, you can go to plan-attack.teachable.com. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and I'm looking forward to teaching you more about Plan Attack and the Morfolio Trace app.